Ladies and gentlemen, Boeing, the name that once defined the very spirit of flight, is about to play the most dangerous gamble in its century-long history. A gamble so risky, so unpredictable, that it could either restore Boeing to its throne as the king of the skies, or send it crashing into aviation's hall of infamy. So fasten your seatbelts, because today we're taking off into the incredible story of how Boeing rose to dominate the world, built legends that shrank the planet and then, through greed, pressure and broken trust, began to fall apart. This is the story of Boeing, the rise, the reign and the reckoning. In the aftermath of World War II, America was booming and so was its ambition. While the world looked up at the stars, one company decided to conquer the skies. That company was Boeing. In the 1950s, Boeing did something absolutely insane. They bet the entire company on a single aircraft, the Boeing 707. On December 20th, 1957, the 707 took flight for the first time, and by October 26, 1958, Pan American World Airways introduced it to the world. That single plane ignited what we now call the jet age. The 707 turned long, exhausting ocean voyages into effortless overnight trips. It transformed the airplane from a machine for the elite into a vehicle for the masses. And in doing so, Boeing didn't just build an aircraft, they built an empire. But they didn't stop there. Soon came the 727, launched in the 1960s, designed to reach smaller airports and regional cities. Then came the 737, the workhorse that would go on to become the most delivered jet family in history. By the late 60s, Boeing was unstoppable, and the skies truly belonged to them. But Boeing wasn't satisfied with being great. They wanted to make history. In 1969, while humanity prepared to step onto the moon, Boeing prepared to change the world below it. At that time, Pan Am's legendary founder, Juan Tripe, challenge Boeing with one bold request. And Boeing said, challenge accepted. The result was an engineering marvel, the Boeing 747. When it entered service on January 22, 1970, the world gasped. It was colossal, the first true wide-body jetliner with a distinctive hump, twin aisles, and room for over 400 passengers. Its four Pratt & Whitney JT9D turbofan engines, each producing up to 47,000 pounds of thrust, gave it the power to cross oceans effortlessly. It could fly more than 5,000 nautical miles non-stop, connecting continents like never before. What made the 747 truly legendary wasn't just its size, it was the audacity behind its creation. Boeing launched the 747 program in 1966 with a promise so bold it put the company's reputation on the line. They partnered with Pratt & Whitney to develop the high-bypass JT-9D engine specifically for this behemoth. They knew building it would demand more than new designs. They had to build an entire factory to do it. So Boeing purchased 780 acres adjacent to Payne Field in Everett, Washington to create a mammoth production facility. When the first 747 rolled out on September 30, 1968, it emerged from the Everett plant, the world's largest building by volume, covering 98.3 acres with 472 million cubic feet of internal space. That factory was so immense people say it could fit Disneyland inside it and still have space left over. They crossed new frontiers in aerodynamics, structural design, systems integration, all while pushing deadlines and budgets to the brink. In just 28 months, nearly 30% faster than a typical new jet program, Boeing compressed the design, testing and certification of a plane twice the scale of anything before it. Airlines loved it, passengers adored it, and soon, the 747 wasn't just an airplane, it was the airplane. From Pan Am to British Airways, from Japan Airlines to Air Force One, it became a flying symbol of progress and prestige. The 747 wasn't just the queen of the skies, it was the crown jewel of human engineering. It made the world smaller, made dreams bigger, and it cemented Boeing's legacy as the undisputed ruler of the skies. 
Boeing's dominance continued through the next decades. The 757 and 767, launched in the early 80s, brought efficiency and flexibility, sharing a common cockpit so pilots could switch between them with ease. Then came the Boeing 777 in 1995, the first twin-engine aircraft certified to fly across oceans right from day one. It was quieter, cleaner and incredibly efficient. Airlines called it the perfect airplane. And then in 2011, Boeing stunned the world again with the 787 Dreamliner. It was light, futuristic, and made from 80% composite materials by volume. A technological revolution that won Boeing the prestigious Collier Trophy. For a century, Boeing wasn't just building airplanes. They were building trust, reputation, and an aura of perfection. But while Boeing soared, a quiet storm gathered across the Atlantic. Europe's aviation giants, France, Germany, Spain and the UK, united to form a new competitor, Airbus. And their mission was simple, to end Boeing's monopoly. The battle began with the A300, the world's first twin-engine wide body, and over time Airbus perfected its strategy, advanced design, fly-by-wire technology and incredible fuel efficiency. The fight became fierce. The A320 versus the 737, the A330 versus the 767, the A350 versus the 787, and the massive A380 daring to take on the mighty 747 itself. And by 2025, Airbus achieved the unthinkable. Its A320 family surpassed Boeing's 737 as the most delivered jetliner in history. The European Challenger had not only caught up, it had overtaken the American giant. And that's when Boeing's turbulence truly began. For decades, Boeing's engineers had ruled the company. But in the late 1990s, after merging with McDonnell Douglas, the balance shifted. The bean counters took control. Safety and craftsmanship began losing ground to cost-cutting and shareholder pressure. The result? Speed started to matter more than safety. And that led to one of the darkest chapters in aviation history, the 737 MAX crisis. To compete with Airbus's A320neo, Boeing decided not to build a new plane, but to re-engineer the old 737. They fitted larger, more fuel-efficient engines onto an airframe that was never designed for them. It changed the plane's balance and aerodynamics, and to compensate, Boeing installed a software system called MCAS to automatically correct the nose angle. But here's the shocking part they didn't fully tell pilots about it. Between 2018 and 2020, two MAX aircraft, Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, crashed, killing 346 people. The world was horrified. The 737 MAX was grounded globally, Boeing's stock plummeted, and the company's reputation collapsed overnight. And the turbulence didn't stop there production of the 787 Dreamliner was halted multiple times due to manufacturing defects, including a 14-month pause through 2022. The new 777X, Boeing's next flagship, faced delay after delay, now pushed to 2026 or beyond. With each passing year, Boeing's problems compounded. Internal investigations revealed employees falsifying inspection data during the manufacturing process of 787 Dreamliners. Suppliers struggled to meet standards, and regulators, now furious, placed caps on Boeing's production rates. In a March 2024 audit of the 737-9 MAX line, the FAA found systemic non-compliance in manufacturing process control, parts handling and storage, and product control. That audit was triggered after a serious safety scare earlier in the year. A door plug detached mid-flight from Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, a 737-9 MAX. Investigators traced the issue to loose bolts and quality control failures. These are not isolated blips. They form a pattern of shortcuts, oversight failures, and broken systems. It was no longer just delays, it was doubt, and the tragedies piled up. In 2018 and 2019, the two fatal MAX crashes, Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, claimed 346 lives. 
Those events triggered the global grounding of the MAX fleet and sparked congressional and regulatory investigations into Boeing's certification practices. But even after the MAX crisis, the dangers didn't vanish. Near-death incidents continued. Aircraft force diversions, system malfunctions, structural defects, the red flags kept appearing. And then came June 12, 2025, a crash that shocked India and the world. Air India flight AI-171, a Boeing 7878 Dreamliner, crashed 32 seconds after takeoff from Ahmedabad. It struck a hostile building near the runway, killing 260 people, including passengers, crew, and people on the ground. Only one passenger survived. Preliminary investigation showed that both engines lost thrust after their fuel control switches moved from run to cut off seconds after liftoff. It was the first fatal hull loss for a 787 since its introduction. Families of victims later filed lawsuits against Boeing and Honeywell, alleging negligence and a faulty fuel cutoff switch. In the wake of AI-171, Indian regulators ordered inspections of emergency power systems across Air India 787s, including scrutiny of the Ram Air Turbine or RAT, system, after a separate flight experienced an uncommanded RAT deployment. Shortly after, another Air India 787 had to divert mid-flight because of autopilot failure and instrument malfunctions. This crash wasn't just a tragic anomaly, it exposed a thread running through Boeing's recent history, a loss of trust in design, oversight and safety culture. By 2025, Boeing faced a cruel irony, a record order backlog of over 5,000 aircraft, yet a deep inability to deliver them on time. Meanwhile, Airbus quietly expanded, increasing output every quarter. The company that once symbolized precision was now synonymous with delay. But this isn't the end of the story because Boeing isn't backing down, they're rebuilding. The 777X aims to redefine long-haul travel again. The 787 line is being redesigned for tighter quality control and engineers are working on new sustainable aircraft powered by sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, and hybrid systems for the future. Boeing knows that it cannot outspend Airbus anymore. So now, it must outlast it. It must return to its roots, engineering excellence, integrity, and the unbreakable pursuit of flight. The same spirit that built the 707, the same brilliance that created the 747, must now save Boeing from itself. Ladies and gentlemen, Boeing's story isn't just about airplanes. It's about ambition, innovation, and the cost of forgetting your own values. From the jet age spark of the 707 to the glory of the 747, from the fall of the MAX to the hope of the 777X, Boeing's journey is a reminder that greatness isn't built once. It must be rebuilt again and again. Because in the sky, there is no place to hide from the truth. You either fly or you fall. So the engines are roaring once more, the gamble is on. Will Boeing rise again to reclaim the crown of the skies, or will this be remembered as the greatest fall in aviation history? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the world is watching, and Boeing's final flight for redemption has just begun. Thank you for watching Tales of History. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the past and learned something new about the events that shaped our world. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who love history as much as we do. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future episodes. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating stories of history with us. And remember, history isn't just the past, it's the key to understanding our present and shaping our future. We'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.